Hi and welcome back to Surviving Mars. Just a quick update as to what's been happening. So in the last episode we discussed um, the food situation, the famines around the settlements, and how we're going to address those. As you probably noticed, we've now got a back supply of food. We are suffering, well, we were suffering from a water shortage, which have now resolved. So what I've done to resolve that water shortage, is you remember we brought out these two domes here to capture this rare resource, uh, rare metals and that rare metals. That obviously has put more strain onto the um, the whole water supply system. So I've extended away from there to capture this water supply here, this one here, the one there, one here, one here, and one here. So now we are actually, we are actually making a bit more water than what we need, which is good. I've also reduced the amount of fuel that we're producing as we have got quite a supply of fuel. So basically I put four um, fuel refineries here. I've removed two and took and switched off two to reduce that amount of supply that's required there. One of the things that threw me off was I failed to calculate the amount of water that these would require. To finish with herbs there, the next cycle I'm going to make potatoes. This one's going to be cover crops. And I have another one somewhere. Go. and that one can, can be switched over to leaf crops and I think that's the only outdoor farms that we've currently got working so what we're we going to do now well to get to these supplies of water I've had to do a bit of terraforming or filling in of holes etc there are quite a few resources around here scientific resources here that's all the water that I can seem to find so we're going to have to make this count in the meantime what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one of my drone carriers and bring him here carrier I'm going to bring him over here and place two of those there we've got a tunnel being built which should be a shortcut straight to these domes I think also Possibly the shutting down of some more of these fuel plants. As an interim measure might help. And let's go around and put some taps on these lakes although I don't think those taps are going to help very much so how are we doing down here
Well, we are actually making more water than we actually require now, so that has alleviated that problem. to see how far that okay set that to a desired amount and let's release a few of these seeds from here Of here. So that will remove 90 of the seeds from there, so that should help. Speed that up a bit. Okay, let's get him. to be ready at all. Hmm, quite possibly. around the pond that there's piles of um, waste rock. Not much I can do about that while I'm cleaning up the toxic legs. But the plan is to get all that processed. And changed into bricks. send him over the same area so that we can basically shut these down once we've got these fields producing then I want to start getting rid of the indoor farms taking up unnecessary space and we could be using that personnel to be doing other things it's a little bit shorter than normal the episode today but there's not a lot to report because a lot of things now are actually it's a bit like a rolling stone you've got to keep it going and then eventually it starts moving of its own accord and we're at that stage now where we're pretty much waiting for the planet. We're ready, we just need the planet to get sorted. So I'd like to leave it there for this episode. I'd like to thank you for watching. I think we'll leave it there for this episode. I'd like to thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Comments are welcome and remember to ring that bell. And I'll catch you next time.